Hi, this is a toilet in um, Anaheim in the USA. Seems like all the toilets are like this. I'll put this stick down there. That's how long that stick is. It's nearly as long as a normal toilet seat. If I lift up the, the lid and have a look in, everything looks the same there. But you probably can't see the top of the water. But the top of the water is down down that far, not that far at all. So if you got a saggy bum, if you got a saggy bum, you'd probably get it wet. Anyway, I'll flush it and show you how it works. So that still cut that goes out above that stick. Goes right down to the bottom. Ours is normally to there. And it comes all the way back up and it fills right back up to where that stick is. Um, and yeah, so it's about halfway up. Half fills with water. So I would dare say that if you had big turds, you'd get a wet ass because it bombs away and then you'd get the old splash back. I suppose there's one way of washing it. Um, but yeah, so that's the difference between toilets in Australia and toilets in the United States, which, yeah, just, I thought it was blocked when I first got here, but obviously it's not, because it's, um, I've been to three different toilets, um, I went to a survey at a shopping centre today, and all the toilets are exactly the same, so it must just be the standard way the toilets are. So that's a difference in toilets here, which... It'd probably be a little bit dangerous because you know a little kid could probably fall in that and really easily drown. Whereas in Australia, if they fell in a toilet, um, the water's down that far and their head wouldn't, um, yeah, they wouldn't drown in those. But you could drown in a, a little kid could drown in a toilet in, in the United States. So yeah, but I think they need to maybe think about that and look at that. But until it happens, nothing will happen. But yeah, that's just the difference between toilets in Australia and toilets in America. Okay then, bye.